Hi, so some of you have asked me uh, how to create the type that goes on the top of the final skills test, which is right here on your copy that I gave you. So first of all, make sure when you're in the layers that you're not on one of these other layers. The last thing I did was hue and saturation, but if I, I click on type now, it'll lock the type into these uh, clipped paths and you don't want to do that. So you can go all the way um, to the um, anywhere below, I was going to say to the top, but if you click on one of these and then start typing with your type tool, it will actually create a type box above it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you that one more time here. So make sure you're at the very top of the stack. That'll help. And then I'm going to move this over so you can see but create um, a type box by clicking and dragging with your type tool and typing in white sans balloon. I think it was invitational. Invitational was what was said on here. Yes, it was. Okay. So, and then, you know, pick a type style by click selecting it. Um, and going to your type toolbox up here, a palette, you can get it this way. You can also go into your um, uh, text, let's see, character right here. You can get it this way. And then you'd have to also get, if you need paragraph styles, which I don't think you do, you could go to that too. But just go ahead and click on this little icon right here, and that uh, character box will open up for you. Um, then you can pick a font. So click in here. Uh, find a good font. Uh, the one that I've used was Impact, which was really uh, pretty um, thick and bold. Okay, and you can make that bigger or smaller. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. So we uh, had it align uh, left. So on here, if you want to make this type box smaller, you can by just scooting this over using the type tool like that and then select your type, go into the top, you can see that this is aligned right, this is center, and this is left, aligned left. Um, there's also some spacing, you know, if you want to make the spacing, line spacing between them a little bit closer, go ahead and I just accidentally, that'll happen to you every once in a while, you'll create another type box in here. Just make sure you have it selected first before you go to your uh, do anything to it and then go ahead and you can go in this is the letting which is the spacing between lines if you want to make that smaller you can go in here and tighten this up or you can scrub it you can see where you move your cursor over this icon and you can click and drag to the right to make it bigger or the left so around 68 points is good uh, we also want to change the color so right here you just go ahead and click and make it white then as far as the style is concerned, I'm going to make the, see if you make the type box smaller using the uh, move tool, it'll, um, because I already had this selected, um, it will, it will make the whole um, scrunch the type either way. And you don't really want to do that. You want to, if you want that type box to be smaller, you go to the type tool, click on uh, the type, and then you can decrease the size of that box if you want to. Then go back to the move tool and down at the bottom of the levels or um, the layers palette is FX. If you click on that, you can do uh, bevel and boss. And there's quite a few other things that you can do in here. You'll see the dialog box. So bevel and boss, there's emboss, there's inner bevel, bevel there's outer bevel on here. And uh, outer bevel is good if you want to do that. Uh, you can get in here, you can zoom in a little closer and see. Uh, it's a smooth, you can hard chisel, it can be soft chisel. Let's go, um, that's an outer bevel, let's do an inner bevel. And let's make the size a little smaller. You can see there's a real tiny size and that looks pretty good. I probably put a, um, a drop shadow on it. So in here, just go to the drop shadow and you can put a drop shadow on it. You can change the distance, you can change the angle basically of the actual shadow, you lower the opacity of it, and that would probably do it right about there is good enough. You can change the contours if you want to. Those are different things that will change it also. So that's what I went over in the movie poster is to go over and use these tools. So you may want to 
go over that information, but um, you can increase the size of the shadow. And then if you want to go back to bevel and emboss, you can, you can increase the size, lower the size, you can soften the edge, and then um, you can decrease the depth. Now, I'm not sure exactly what I did on that other one, but this is close enough, and you can do whatever you want to on this. All right, that's it for now. Hopefully, you guys do good on your final uh, skills test, and you get a great grade on it. So that's it for the tutorials.